Okay, real quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys how to set your RTH height. So first, obviously, you're gonna wanna click on the Phantom Wi-Fi in your Wi-Fi settings, then you wanna go back to the DJI Go app, open it up, click on camera, it's gonna bring you to this screen here. You should be able to see what the camera is seeing. So, in order to set the RTF return height, what you gotta do is click on this quadcopter-like symbol right here at the top. Click on it. Okay. Then you're gonna scroll down, and right here you'll see that it says return to home altitude and it's got a paper plane looking like thing that's supposed to represent your aircraft and the uh, path basically that it'll take back home the idea is to set your height every time you fly in a different area but you also want to check it before every flight to make sure it's stayed where you've kept it i've actually changed this a couple times and it will change back uh, so you got to make sure you're connected to your to your uh, aircraft and um, then that way between the aircraft the phone and the remote it saves that setting in there so it uh, comes up with the same setting as what you uh, changed it to so you can see mine is a hundred so it's uh you know, just under 400 feet or somewhere around there. And um, that's plenty for me for around here. We have trees and things, and most of them are probably 150 feet. So double the tree height should be plenty good. We don't have any buildings or anything, so that's why I have mine set at 100. But like I said, you want to make sure you double check this uh, even after you just set it because... I've I've uh, went in here before and set it and you'll come back right away and it'll change on you and like I said everything has to be connected together and if it's not it won't save it so you just want to click in the box for you it'll probably be blue if you haven't set it before the automatic return home mode will have the drone set at 20 meters and uh, you know, that's not even high enough to go over, uh, you know, some two-story houses and things. So you really got to make sure you have the return to home height set because if you lose a uh, signal to your remote or your remote shuts off, it's going to run straight into a tree or building. And you'll notice I clicked on it. You're going to want to change your height from 20 to whatever height you need for your area that you're in and then it's important that you don't just click off you can click off like that and then it's not going to save it what you want to do is click in the box and you're going to want to hit done and then it'll save it in there <clears throat> so that's it this is kind of like a part two video to the return to home complete series and um, this is just one small part of that whole return to home feature um, if you go to the other video it'll tell you about the GPS and the home point and and uh, all the different types of return to home features that this thing has and comes with so um, if you're interested in that kind of thing the link will be in the description to the other video <coughs> Okay, so I just wanted to add one more thing here at the end of the video. Um, basically, you have to use all the different parts and pieces of the RTH in order to use it successfully. Um, every part of the RTH function must be set properly, and each part of the return to home function is equally important no matter how big or small. Uh, it's just like the quadcopter itself. If you have one motor, or one ESC that's bad or not working, you may have three motors running, but that doesn't mean it's going to fly. 
So, uh, same thing. Your return to home feature, um, when you go out of range, is still going to work. But if you don't have the height set correctly, um, it's going to run into a tree. So it's basically the same kind of concept. Each part is equally important, and you have to keep that in mind uh, when you're using it. Otherwise, it's not going to work for you.